Dear students, we have discussed about intelligent agents and we have said that intelligent agents get, acquire, collect data from the sensors they have. And one of the sensor is the camera. So from camera, they take picture of the environment and then they realize that in such a situation, what I should do. So in this module, we will try to understand that how intelligent agents can understand the images. So we are going back to the same example, the puzzle example, where we have made an intelligent agent over here, this machine. And that machine is going to play with us into this puzzle game. So you can see that the opening and closing of gripper over here on the machine presents no serious obstacle. You can make such a mechanical system very easily. The ability to detect the presence of the puzzle in the gripper during this process is also straightforward. Even the problem of focusing the camera on the puzzle can be handled simply by designing the gripper to position the puzzle at a particular predetermined position for viewing. So what is the problem? The problem is that whatever image this camera has taken, how it can be understood. So if we are able to understand the image that what is the position of digits at the moment and which digit should be moved upward or downward, so that is the main thing. So, how to process such an image? One of the simplest approach could be that we can assume that what appears is always an image containing digits 1 through 8 in a very well organized manner. So, you know, in our example, there is a particular size of a square and each square might have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, these are the numbers. That's it. So, we should not be worried about any number greater than 8 and any number less than 1. First thing. The second thing is picture of the puzzle has been encoded in terms of bits in the computer memory. So all of the bits, for example, the 1 has been written with a predefined pattern. So if you take that square and you see that that square has a brightness level with a small pixels. So let's say that this square has 100 by 100 pixels. And if you find pixel number, for example, 28, 39, 49, 59, 69, more, uh, less brighter, this means that this is written 1. So this could be the simplest way, with each bit representing the brightness level at a particular pixel. So our machine can detect tile is in which position by comparing the different sections the picture to pre-recorded template so we have already recorded that when you want to write two so this would be written in this particular way so this technique is recognizing images is one method used in optical character recognition what is the problem the problem or drawback is Requiring a certain degree of uniformity for the style, size, and orientation of symbols being used. So you need to write one in the same way. If you change uh, your uh, puzzle game, which have one as the italic, so then you are not able to understand that pattern. And similarly, uh, if this technique is being used for handwritten material, when people write one in one direction, in second direction, in different ways, in different styles. So in that situation, this simplest method is not going to be uh, useful. In such a situation, we need uh, to match the geometric characterizations or characteristics. So the digit one might be characterized as a single vertical line. So if there are little bit for example, fluctuation that can be handled. And digit 2 might be an opened curve line joined with a horizontal straight line across the bottom and so on. So similarly, we can uh, come up with different geometrical shapes. And after analyzing those geometrical shapes, we can say that this is 1, this is written 2, this is written 4, and this is placed over here and there. So this means this technique 
can be applied on handwritten uh, different styles of images. So how it works? It works uh, in two steps. The first step is to extract the features from the image being processed. And the second is to compare the features to those for noun symbols. So the features are, for example, for writing one, the feature is that uh, there should be a straight line. For two, there's a curve. So you need to identify such features and then those features are compared with the predefined features which you have already now. So process of understanding images is using the image processing and image analysis. What is image processing? Refers to identifying characterizations or characteristics of the image noun symbols. And image analysis refers to the process of understanding what these characteristics means and then making the decision. So let's summarize today's module. We have learned the same puzzle example and we have seen that how our intelligent agent is working to solve that puzzle example by understanding the images. And we have discussed two approaches. One is pixel-based approach to understand the image and the other is geometric approach, which is a little bit more generic.